44 days now since Hurricane Dorian ravaged the Outer Banks, leaving people to pick up the pieces. And they say they're not getting enough help from the government. The president authorized funding for counties affected by the storm, but FEMA denied individual assistance for Dorian victims. Now the community is stepping up. Ted on your side's Tamara Scott spoke with a Newport News woman who's taking her campaign to help to a local stadium. Well, if you were looking for a way to help, head over to Todd Stadium in Newport News over the next few days. That's where you'll find Marie Boyd in a tent with a mission. People ask me all the time, are you scared? While Marie Boyd makes this tent her home for the next few days. I'm not scared. She says she'll stay safe one way. Please that finger. Or another. So that's not her real fear. I'm scared that people won't show up. As a humanitarian and leader of the Hampton Roads Good Samaritan Fund, Marie saw an opportunity to help those in Ocracoke when the individual federal funds were denied. I think I'm close to a thousand and I've only, you know, been here since six this morning. She's collecting donations here at Todd Stadium in a tent. But why? Ocracoke is like one flat place now. People are living in tents. People are living in RVs, okay? They can't go home. I mean, insurance, sure, that takes time. In the time she's been here. Okay, here we go. The donations are coming. You give me a hug for this? I appreciate yeah. that. And so is the reassurance that this is what she's supposed to be doing. Yay. Even this morning, God showed me exactly what it felt like for a tent to come down. It was like we were in a hurricane. Things were swirling. And I thought about the fear these people must have. And then they have to come back to, where do I get the money to just go to the grocery store and get some diapers. So she wants you to donate. Nice Welcome to, to my tent. But not just for these victims. I want people to understand that fire, hurricanes, natural disasters do not discriminate. It can happen to the richest, to the poorest, and be prepared. One day it's going to happen to you, and you're going to hope that somebody like me cares enough to help you. Let's go do the camping thing. Well, Marie says that she doesn't have a set goal, but all of the donations will be going towards the victims in Ocracoke. She has partnered with the Red Cross to make sure everything gets to those impacted. Tamara Scott, 10 on your side.